Yeah, I think, I'm sorry. I think it was a bloodbath of ticket sales. I'm glad some of you were able to get a ticket. I know. We've all been yelling like, please, can we have a bigger venue next year, please? I mean, if there is next time, but I hope. You know, football stadium, it would be cool. Small venues better than no venue. It's true, it's true. I am, I'm so glad that we get to have, have a concert. It looks very fancy. I'm excited. It's cool. Stadium. I don't think I've ever been to a concert at a stadium. Wait, I think I have actually. Wait, I have. Never mind. <laughs> it didn't feel like a stadium though. Does that count? An indoor stadium? It didn't have a sporty vibe. Who was it? It was Tyler the Creator. I just liked eating waffles all day. Have you ever had bacon and uh, syrup? I'm not finished. And it was a very cool show. <laughs> It was fun. I haven't been to a concert in a long time though. I just stay inside now. <laughs> yeah, that was the stadium now that I think of it. And I was I was in the stadium seating too. Sounds crazy. I don't know, when you're there, it didn't feel like a stadium. Well, also because they put chairs on the floor. Now that I think of it, I saw Panic at the Disco also, and I think that was also in a stadium. <laughs> they put chairs on like on the floor on the floor of the stadium. And then there's a big stage. Yeah, the folding chairs. So it doesn't really feel like a sporting arena. I eat spiders in my sleep. No, I don't. Maybe you do, not me. I would never eat. That's why I have a fan blowing on me while I sleep. Cause I know the spider will be scared away by the, the fan, the air. It wouldn't dare. Yeah, the anti-spider fan. It, don't tell me it doesn't work like that because then I really won't be able to sleep. See, I wish I could say like, I don't sleep with my mouth open, but I do. I didn't used to until I went to the dentist and the dentist was like, mm, you grind your teeth. You're gonna have no teeth left if you don't start wearing a night guard when you sleep. So I was like, oh, okay. And then they're like, you can buy one at like the pharmacy, but it's not gonna be comfortable and it's not gonna fit. So we really recommend that we make a mold of your teeth. And I was like, oh, okay. And then they're like, okay, it's gonna taste really bad this clay in your mouth. And I was like, oh, okay. And then they were like, okay, that's gonna be $300, please. And I was like, oh, okay. Maybe I, maybe I got off easy at only 300. Yeah, so now I wear that. And ever since I started wearing my night guard, I know that my mouth is like hanging open because I, I drool all over my pillow. It's kind of the worst. I used to not. My mouth used to be closed, but I guess now the extra like millimeter from the mouth guard makes it so my mouth won't <laughs> close. So we have a little, little, a little drip of drool. The worst part is when I'm like, so I like flip, you know, we've discussed this, like a hot dog at the 7-Eleven. So I'll be like sleeping on one side and then I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh, I'm uncomfortable, I should flip, but I'm fully awake. And then I flip over and I get into my usual position on the pillow. And then like the corner of my mouth touches like the wet spot where I must have been drooling earlier. It's just like, oh, <laughs> gross. My mouth sweat, dark. I don't know what else I want to play. Old school RuneScape? I know I, I was gonna do RuneScape, but now Nerissa has put like 80 hours in already. <laughs> How can I catch up with her? She is going wild on it. I missed like the first stream and then after that, I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't think I could put in these 10 hour streams. Just jump in. Is she doing anything to like prevent people from writing weird things in the all chat? I need to ask her about it, how she's streaming it. No? <laughs> Hide the chat. I might hide the chat. It has heavy filters, does it? Nobody has been banned. I was, I'm like, I need to figure out. I've never streamed an MMO. So I'm scared that I'm gonna stream it. Somebody's gonna get me and put in YouTube jail. <laughs> Could hide the chat. Yeah, maybe I'll just hide the chat. She only gives the world number to members. You ready to be mobbed by people. I need to remember how to play RuneScape. I don't know, but isn't it like weird for me to be worried about like the RuneScape chat whenever I put like, but actually I don't have chat up right now, but usually I put chat like on my screen always. It's not like, I mean, people could write whatever they want in this chat too. They can write, I kick puppies. Well, actually it's worse if they write Fauna kicks puppies. Well, YouTube also has heavy filters. There's chat. 
Oh, and I kick puppies now. The YouTube summary bot is gonna say that I kick puppies. I like looking at the Photoshop request subreddits. I like when they're like, can you please Photoshop this person out of the photo? And then I'm just so curious, like what the, like why? What, what problem do they have with this person in the photo? And I don't know, like we've evolved. Like, you know, the, hu the biggest diss used to be like, cropping somebody out of the photo right or like back when you have your physical printed photos you literally like cut them out that's what it was but now it's even worse now you go on the internet and ask a stranger on reddit to literally like photoshop any evidence that you ever interacting with them out it's next level yeah now we edit people out of existence and then they never provide any like context for why they want them deleted but i always wonder i want to know the juicy ones are when they're foreground people when they're posed together you know like they've got their arms around each other so it's like what happened background people I understand why you would want them photoshopped out and I don't, that's kind of like a good technology right because it's like annoying when someone's trying to have a photo shoot and they like are blocking off a whole public area and no one's allowed to walk for fear of getting into their photo that can be annoying like at the Eiffel Tower like you can try to get a picture without any other people in it but you're probably not gonna see when people ask me why I have an electric razor in my kitchen, oh, you know, <laughs> shaving my food. Use a sharp knife. Don't you like cut your face when you do that? When they ask me why I have a kitchen knife in the bathroom? For shaving, of course. <laughs> what else would it be for? Not if it's sharp enough. I guess some people, you know, like the razor blades you can put in like a straight razor. At the barber, don't they? Wait, okay, I don't know anything about barbers. Do they use those to shave? Like just a razor? No handle? No apparatus? They use it with their hands? That's crazy. That's scary. Didn't barbers used to be like surgery? too. Wasn't that a thing? Like your occupation would be like combination barber surgeon. We at the barber shop. We at the surgeon's house. We at the combination barber shop and surgeon's house. Dentistry too? Do they just do everything? Sounds awesome. Actually, I feel like I could be down for that. Like dentist hairstylist. Cause it's kind of annoying. I don't really like getting my hair cut. We could combo it. Like while you're getting your teeth cleaned. Imagine if they're also like cutting your hair. My solution is just that I cut my own bangs and then I can go longer without cutting the rest of my hair. It's like when you take your dog to the vet for dental cleaning and then they like trim their nails while they're at it. A lot of animals have features which are like cute to humans. But I don't know if humans are cute to any animal. Elephant? Wait, really? Do elephants think humans are beautiful? I'm cute to an elephant? That's like, it's a myth though! No, that was the biggest self-esteem boost I've had all week. <laughs> it's been debunked, but it's cute enough to believe anyway. <laughs> it was, I was so happy for 1.5 seconds. I can imagine humans being cute to elephants. Elephants are cute to us too, even though they are big and have weird feet smelly yeah even though they have all that they're still cute you can't blame me for saying that elephants have weird feet when we call a human medical condition elephantitis it's right there in the definition they're weird do cats think we're ugly they love us anyway so it doesn't really matter but it keeps me up at night wondering because i think snail is just so cute Actually, parents think their children are cute, but do children think their parents are cute? I think a lot of children are mean. You don't remember? Is it weird to think your parents are cute? I don't know. I think Mama Kieran is beautiful. I don't think she is. She is. Period. Yeah, I feel like the older you get, the more appreciation you can have. Kieran loves sports. This has always been a big part of my life, loving sports. From the day I was out of the womb, I was playing sports. My metaphor is failing because I don't even know what what playing sports entails. A baller? I know, it's because I don't want to, I hate that word. I was dribbling spheres. The sports spheres. Oh, okay, you got it. No, I got it, I got it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Craig got it, it's fine. Ball and chain. No! This guy looks 
serious. Look at that outfit. I look like I just came back from the candy shop. Ooh. Ooh. Didn't realize it was try hard hours. Don't give them a chance. Don't give them a chance. No! They learned. Um, pickleball. <laughs> Inappropriate. I'm not very dad coded, but bucket we ball. I'm not very dad coded, but I make puns sometimes. That's like a dad joke. I would say it's probably true. I'm probably not very dad coded. But what makes someone dad coded? I'm literally playing sports all day. What could be more dadly than that? I'm playing golf. Except I'm hating it. I'm hating every second of it. <laughs> but I'm playing bowling and I'm loving it. Bowling is more like uncle coded though, I feel like, than dad coded. I feel like you don't go bowling with your dad. You go bowling with your uncle. I don't know. <laughs> is that real? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's because like bowling is what you do when you don't know what to do. When like you have your niece or nephew for the weekend and you don't know what to do with them. So you're like, oh, I guess we could go bowling. If you're their dad, then you probably like already have plans and stuff. <laughs> kind of makes sense. With your dad, you like go to the zoo. Your dad will take you to the zoo, you know? But your uncle won't take you to the zoo because it's too expensive. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, actually. Bowling isn't cheap either. That's also probably true. Roasting uncles today. I'm sorry, uncles. When I had COVID, I guess it was like, it was like two years ago, but I also got COVID one year ago. When I had it two years ago, I got horrible night sweats. Apparently that was like part of the new COVID DLC that had just dropped was like night sweats. But yeah, it was the new patch where they added night sweats. I had it and it was horrible. Did you get that too? That was like the only time in my life I have experienced like night sweats and it was horrible. It was horrible. I didn't know it could be so bad, you know? I don't know, it's not that bad like getting sweaty when you go to the gym, you know? It's like fine. It's not that bad. It'll dry. But at night, it's so uncomfortable. You're just like in your blankets and it's like soaked. <laughs> Can I still taste? I I lost, I think this was, this was two years ago. I think I lost my sense of smell. I could taste like a tiny bit, but I, it came back pretty fast. I know some people lose it for a long time. I think I did lose my sense of smell. You couldn't smell your pizza. I think I remember talking about this on stream, actually. Did I? I don't remember. I feel like I was talking about it and I was like, I should... I should eat so healthy right now because I can barely taste anything. I might as well just eat, like, get on my maximum health diet right about now. I was so sad because a bug crawled on my pizza. I got a pizza and I took it home and I put it on the counter and a bug, a big bug crawled on it. And as soon as I saw the bug crawling on it, I completely lost my appetite because it wasn't even like, I mean, if it's like a fruit fly, whatever, I can deal with that. Maybe cut that piece off. But it was, the bug was crawling through the veggies on my pizza like, like a bug in the forest floor. Like the image of a small rodent rifling through forest litter in the rainforest. I watched it go under a basil and I just couldn't deal with that. Yes, it went under, it went under the basil leaf and after I couldn't, I lost my appetite completely. That's, that's this pizza now. That's the whole pizza I did and then I was so sad because I was so excited to eat the pizza and it smelled so good. I just lost my appetite. <laughs> Bro, still a whole pie? He did. It is his pizza now. Just cut off that entire point part. I would have, but the image was just too much. I couldn't get it out of my mind. There was no way I would be able to eat that pizza without imagining the bug <laughs> crawling through as a meerkat in the savanna digging tunnels in my pizza pie. Pepperoni. If you actually look at my the a hole subreddit, people people do be recommending divorce every single 
post. What am I on Reddit for? I don't know. I found scrolling Reddit to be slightly less toxic than scrolling Twitter. So now I like scroll default Reddit. It's a low bar. I don't know. I see cool stuff on there sometimes. What did I see? I forgot. Probably like half the things I talk about. There was something cool that I saw on Reddit. How much gold? Zero. I don't have an account. I'm just scrolling like the default Reddit. So it's just like really normal stuff, which is why I like it. How many cats per hour? Like 800 cats per hour. <laughs> There's a lot of good cat subreddits. I mean, of course I like r slash black cats because I am a black cat fan. I mean, you have to like one orange brain cell. Like I know Reddit is cringe. I know, but one orange brain cell is a good subreddit. <laughs> oh, there was a good, another good subreddit. Catculations. That one is really good. It's like cat logic, where you get to watch cat brains at work. This is also classic Redditor syndrome. It's like nobody hates Redditors more than Redditors. Oh gosh, don't self-identify it as a Redditor. I wanted to talk about my tweet I made. I made it a while ago now. About the mango sticky rice with ice cream. Some of you need to go to your local Thai restaurant ASAP and get mango <clears throat> sticky rice. Cause some of you don't seem to know the wonder of mango sticky rice. <laughs> it's a dessert from Thailand. Ice cream is optional, but I think ice cream makes like every dessert better. So you might as well. It's basically like sweetened sticky rice and then you put coconut milk on top and then some like sesame seeds and then you serve it with fresh mango. Delicious and sweet and I like it with a scoop of ice cream but that's optional because then you have the warm rice and you have the cold ice cream and then you have the smooth and sweet mango and it's perfect. It's like the perfect bite. <laughs> a well-balanced meal exactly it has rice it has protein in the ice cream and then it has vegetable of mango <laughs> i think it, my favorite reply i forget who it was it was one of you replied dang knew i should have meal prepped mango sticky rice this week that one you understand that's exactly what i'm imagining like a bodybuilder with their little like meal prep bento boxes it's good if you've never had mango sticky rice i really do encourage you go to your local thai place i legitimately don't think i need it to be dark outside i think i could live in perpetual sunlight i think i would be fine because i don't mind sleeping in the daytime when it's bright outside yeah i can sleep with the sun out no problem what if i want the dark back I won't. Reverse vampire. What do you need it to be dark for anyway? The stars? Can't see them anyway when there's light pollution. I'm just saying, I could, I think I would be fine. I think I am like a reverse vampire. Maybe my ideal would be like one hour of darkness. But I want it to like get light again before I go to sleep. I'll be awake for the one hour of darkness and then the sun will rise and then I'll go to sleep. The sun is too hot. Just get a fan. Let me have this. Come on. Can't we negotiate? What if we like stop the earth from spinning so that half of it can be always in sunlight and then half of it can always be in darkness? Wouldn't we all die? Um, no. Are <laughs> you get a desert planet? Um, no. It will be fine. And let's put the beaches on the sunny side, okay? So I'm gonna be on the beach. 24-7 with my 24-7 sunlight. Infinite sun. I have an umbrella. I have sunscreen. We live in the modern era. We should put Ohio on the sunny side. Minnesota. People have said that I look like my mom, but I feel like I look more like my dad, which I don't really like. Not that there's anything wrong with the way my dad looks, but like I'm a I'm a lady. I don't want to look like my dad. You know, <laughs> like a Chad. Well, no. Well, no. The feminine version, maybe. You know. No. So handsome. See, I don't want to. I don't want to be handsome. I mean, when you have other people and you're like to to a, a daughter, you look just like your dad. You don't mean like you look like a man. when you say that? You know, that's not what it means when people say that. But sometimes I'm like, do I look like a man? They do? No, no, no. <laughs> then why does it bother you? I don't know. I don't want to look like a man. I want to look like my beautiful mother. You're so sad for my dad it's not bad it's not bad my dad is a handsome man but i don't want to look like a handsome man it's 
not really what they what they mean when they say you look like your dad. I think. It means similar eyebrows. But I don't want to have have his eyebrows set in shambles. You don't get it. You don't understand. You don't understand. You'll never understand what it's like as a daughter who looks more like her dad than her mom. Do people tell you that or do you just think it? Actually, it's more like people tell me I look like the women on my on my dad's side of the family. So maybe I'm just inventing this in my head and people aren't actually saying that. I did see something that made me reconsider my pie journey. Someone said, I can also recite a thousand digits of pie. I just can't tell you where these 1,000 digits are. I was like, oh, you're so right. You can just recite a thousand digits and then because it's infinite, theoretically, I mean, technically any string of numbers exists in pie somewhere, but that's kind of hard to wrap your brain around. Like really somewhere within pie is just like 1,000 zeros. But I think people are bad at conceptualizing infinity in general. I know I am somehow. Your social security number is in pie. Mine too. Mine's actually within the first 100 digits. I get scared every time I have to read that section out. Cause it's my social security number. But as long as I as long as I don't react to it, no one will know. Oh yeah, my phone number too. It's there too. Hacking me right now. I know, I'm just kidding. I don't have a social security number. They didn't give them out 4.5 billion years ago. This is a this is a recent thing. Don't worry, I still pay my taxes. Even though I don't have a social security number. Zero, 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 one. You got me. That's it. Do people memorize other numbers? Like E? Wait, is E infinite? I don't actually know. People memorize pi, but yes. Do other do other numbers also get the get the attention? It is infinite. Why do people not care about E then? What's so good about pi? <laughs> I guess pi because like circles, I don't know. Cause it's an important number. Oh, it's irrational, not necessarily infinite. What does irrational mean? Does that mean there's an I in it? Oh no, we have to go back to math class. No, I is imaginary. What's irrational? <laughs> Does that mean it never repeats? It means it's crazy. Can't be expressed as a ratio. But it's not necessarily infinite. Wait, I can express pi as a ratio though. Pi divided by one. Boom, ever think of that one? Mathematicians? Got em. Solved. Easy. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> This is why you test before stream? Come on. It wouldn't be fun if I played the whole game before I streamed it. Sometimes you just gotta let it fly. I'm not gonna play through all of WarioWare. We're gonna go back to the old Let's Play days before people, where people would play through the whole game before recording it. And then they would be like, this part of the game is where this happens. And all you have to do is go boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Yeah, then I would have then I would have known that I need the Joy-Con straps. I do actually like those style of Let's Plays though, where they're just like telling you exactly how to play the game because they've played it before. Yeah, imagine if I played Outer Wilds, not blind. I have to like act like I don't, I don't, what would I even do? I don't even know how you play Outer Wilds like a second time. I feel like I would definitely like skip stuff. You would, I feel like you would have to be very careful not to skip stuff. I <laughs> did skip stuff. I could have skipped much more. It could have been a 20 minute playthrough. DLC, I'll play the DLC on my own off screen <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day, no ship speed run? No, I haven't. No video, no. 
No video. You get the base game. I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. I can't stand the heat, so I'm getting out of the kitchen. No more cooking. That's true. I could play it and then I could record a, a second playthrough in the classic Let's Play style. Where I already know everything. And I'm like, wow, what a mystery that is. What could that possibly mean? But I already know everything. I do think those are a relaxing way to experience the game. Yeah, I don't think the infestation was too bad. It mostly got one of my one of my plants. And I don't think it was too bad. I think I caught it early when there were still just a few flies. But I was pretty distraught when I discovered it. Because it was one of my favorite plants also. It was my string of turtles. How could they do this? <laughs> How did I fix it? You can use these, this product called mosquito bits, which are like corn kernels or corn bits. I don't know. And they're coated with, I think, a bacteria. And the bacteria will kill insect larva. So what you do is you basically make like a mosquito bit tea and it doesn't hurt plants or animals, just insect larva. You water your plants with that and it should kill all of the, the larva. Yes, I poisoned them. I poisoned the fungus gnats and I would do it again. I know, I wanna get more plants. I wanted to get one for my bathroom, but my bathroom doesn't have any windows. And I was looking, there are like, I guess some plants that can theoretically survive with only artificial light, but I don't know. Then it was hard to find plants that can survive in low light or artificial light and then also are cat friendly. A snail likes to munch on my plants, so I dare not have any that are toxic. And then in the end, I, I just got a fake plant. I've been anti-fake plants. I mean, they have their place for sure, but I don't know. I still don't know how I feel about it. Cause I feel like part of the joy of plants, indoor plants is like bringing life inside, bringing nature inside. And then this one is just Plastic. But it looks nice, I guess. Yeah, and it's, it's not gonna be, you know, filtering the air or anything. Your wife crochets fake plants for you? I should do that! I should have bought, like, a crocheted fake plant. That would be nicer than a plastic one. <laughs> I do love me, like, a shopkeeper game. I want, like, Stardew Valley, but you run a shop. Like instead of selling your stuff to Pierre or God forbid Jojo Mart, instead of doing that, you just sell it yourself and people visit you. Like you're out working in the fields and then it's like you hear a bell ring and it's like, oh, a customer. I better, I better run over and help them. There's a couple games like that. Which ones can I play on my Steam Deck? Moonlighter? Moonlighter is very close to that. What is Moonlighter? Maybe I will play it on my Steam Deck. It's more like Zelda with shop. So you kind of don't want to have any combat. <laughs> if I be too picky now, I'm, we're just crafting my ideal game. I played that plant shop game where you run like a magical plant shop. I forgot what it's called. That game was fun. I enjoyed that one. How will I procure my goods? I will grow them in my garden. Yeah, strange horticulture. That's it. That's what it's called. Day of the Diver. I have seen that a little bit, but I feel like most of that game is diving, not the restaurant sim. I want it flipped. Or can it be flipped? It's just people prefer the diving. I want my, I want 80% restaurant sim, 20% diving. Dark Souls, don't, don't trick me. I know that's not what Dark Souls is. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe, maybe I feel like I forgot how to stream after watching the debuts of my new Kohai. I mean, this has been happening. This is not new. Every time I'm blown away and I'm like, oh my goodness, how am I in the same, same company? <laughs> I'm in trouble. They were so good. So maybe that's why I'm like, do I even know how to stream? I gotta get it together. I gotta put on my best senpai act. <laughs> a little imposter syndrome as a treat. Fauna can have little imposter syndrome as a treat. <laughs> I have my pros too, I hope so, I hope so. 
I do feel like, I don't know. I feel like debuts are no longer embarrassing. Where's the rite of passage where you have a, have a scuffed, I mean, I guess there's always a little scuff. Where's the rite of passage where you have an embarrassing scuffed debut and then you have to watch it again year after year as time goes on. <laughs> this good content. I know we're coming up on three years. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to watch mine again. <laughs> <laughs> it gets longer every time. And I know last year I was I was selling the mill pad for part of it. Who knows? Maybe I'll have anniversary merch again this year and then we'll have an ad read within an ad read. It's gonna be too much. 2x speed! That's a good idea. Maybe I should watch it at 2x speed. She makes the same jokes every time. So maybe I haven't. I haven't changed. Since then. Oh, is Gura here? Gura. I couldn't I couldn't resist. I've returned to Dark Souls. <laughs> I'm trying it again for some reason. She didn't curse me this time. Haha <laughs> blue. Green! Blue! Green! Blue! Vegetation! Water! Ocean! Sweat! Green! Yeah, the soul's brain rot got to me. It's because I was playing that other game, Withering Rooms, which is said to be somewhat of souls-like. And I was enjoying it, so I was like, well, maybe. I almost did a different stream today, but then I had a dream, like a bad omen. So I decided to play Dark Souls, which may not make any sense. I dreamt that I was playing The Sims, but it was like the worst stream ever. I just didn't even know what I was doing at all. And then I remember I was trying to save the stream because it wasn't entertaining at all. So I started just like fighting people in The Sims, like brawling them. And then the police came after me, which is not a thing in The Sims, which made me wonder, what if they did like a crimes expansion pack? You no, know, they had The Sims 4 expansion pack of get to work. What if they had one that's like, go to jail? Because the stream I wanted to do, I still want to do it and I might do it, but it might be cringe. So after my dream, I was like, I'm not ready. I was like, I'm not ready for potential cringe, so. Let's just play Dark Souls today. So the stream I want to do, I talked about it before. I want to make my own scuffed cringe anime opening. Like I want to go on, like in one stream, I want to go on to audio stock and I want to find a music track to use and I want to write my own lyrics and sing it and then animate it and then make it all all on one stream and it will be very cringe but it will probably be fun i think the n64 controller promotes creativity and anyone who grew up with the nintendo 64 is bound to be more creative i don't make the rules that's just that's just how it is painting on the walls with my blood the creativity is flowing you might have heard that green is not a creative color, but that's just wrong. Some say it's the most creative color. Some being me. I can probably get Cecilia to agree with me purely through green peer pressure. Did blue say that? If green is not creative, then blue is also not creative. Cause like, these are the colors of nature. Green grass, green trees, blue sky, blue water. If like that's the logic for it not being creative, then neither is creative. But I wouldn't argue that. I would say, oh, fuckers, no, I'm, I'm on your side. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm just bitter from hearing green is not a creative color and I'm just trying to drag everyone else down with me. A really creative color is like, like purple or like magenta because it doesn't even exist. It's just like your brain being creative and making it up, you know? Or, I don't know. What about, what about the idea of like limited palette creativity? Maybe black is a creative color. Oh, but actually black is not a color, it's a shade. Don't say that in a goth's stream again. Are you scared? Are you already scared? Listen, you don't have any idea what we're, get, we're getting ready to do. Oh, oh don't God. let a little video game scare you. I Gotta have, have confidence mind. so you can <laughs> trash talk me properly. Yeah, green. Green? That's not an insult. 
Elsa? When I look at you, all I imagine is that boar. I will eat you for dinner and dessert. Well, at least it'll be sweet. At least it'll be eating my greens. Haha, <laughs> blue. Green. Blue. Green. Blue. Vegetation. Water. Ocean. Sweat.